A soprano star is slamming woke Hollywood. This is Drea D. Matteo, who has gone on the Donald Trump Jr. podcast. The uh, he has a podcast called Triggered, and she has gone on this podcast to basically talk about how woke Hollywood is. Talk about like we know how woke Hollywood is, but she's gone on here pretty much talking about uh, how insane they are, and I think that it's very interesting. Um, from the Hollywood perspective. And by the way, Drea DiMatteo does not identify as a conservative. I, she ident like she is just a lib that even knows that the libs have gone too far. This is what she had to say to uh, Trump Jr. But you know, are there more conservatives sort of out there in Hollywood and in, in the industry, but they just feel like they have to have to shut up? I mean, are there people that have your thoughts on you know, the vaccine or the shutdowns or the sort of oppressive government regimes. And they're just like, but you know what? It's easy. I got a good life in Hollywood. I just don't want to challenge that. Because I feel like those people, you know, many cases, you know, you know, leading, you know, pop culture, like that could wake up so many people if you had more people that just had the guts to do what you're doing. Well, like I said, I don't know that I ever would have just, I, I wanted to, I really did want to fight, but I didn't think that I had A, the voice, B, the balls. Like I just didn't, I kind of got thrown to the wolves, I felt like. And once I was out there, Thank I was like, fine. I'm out here. What am I going to do? I'm out of my cage. Like, I may as well just, you know, do what I, do what I got to do. And I, and I do feel like I'm supported, um, you know, by my boyfriend. By, I know this sounds crazy, but by God, I, my, my children, um, my children are, um, they, they believe in what we believe in, which is, which is freedom and, and unity the right way, not unity the way this administration was trying to push, because that's, that was bullshit. They took yeah. every social agenda and used that, used these social issues as pawns to further their administration, did nothing but divide people. Um, the, the social issues, even with your dad, like, I don't care about that stuff. I, I, whenever I, whenever I think about your dad too, I'm like, I don't think he cares about that stuff as much. I think he cares about what's really going on, which is behind the scenes. And those are the things that need to be addressed before anybody's going to have freedom with any social issues. All right, look. So, okay. Before I can even get into this, like we have to put this entire thing into context. Okay, so Drea DiMatteo obviously was on Sopranos. I never watched The Sopranos. Um, she won an Emmy for The Sopranos. You know, she was on the show Shades of Blue with Jennifer Lopez. Uh, God, probably well over a decade ago. But look, Drea DiMatteo was out in those Hollywood streets. She was in the parking lots. She wasn't working. I believe that Drea DiMatteo is in her early 50s. Like, she had to do something to pay the bills, and she went to OnlyFans and started busting it wide open on OnlyFans. Whatever. All right. And look, she said that I wasn't making any money. I had to pay the bills. So I got on OnlyFans, and now I'm not in all this debt anymore. I can pay my bills. I got the OnlyFans and all that other stuff. Now, is what she's saying right about Hollywood? Well, yes, because here's the thing about the, the Hollywood system. And it, all of these systems are the same. If you're in the Hollywood system, if you're in the DNC industrial complex, if you're in the RNC industrial complex, when you exist in these bubbles, there are certain things that you can and cannot say in these bubbles. It is the same in Hollywood. It's the same with the Democrats. It's the same with the Republicans, right? Uh, if you're a Republican, there's things that you, you can't say. If you're a Democrat, there's things that you can't say. If you're in Hollywood, you're basically uh, forced to be a lib. The entire entertainment industry is just owned by the lib. So there's something that she can't say, right? So, uh, so she's right about that. Now, I hate calling people grifters because I don't think that grifting, like I think that that term is overused. What I will say is that Drea DeMatteo is out here hustling. She had to go to OnlyFans. She has told, like she has done interviews telling you how broke she is. She's broke. So she went to OnlyFans and she is less broke. Now she's like, whether she believed this stuff or not, and I do believe that on some level she did believe it because a chick like that is never gonna be like a real lip, right? Like a true, true lip. Yeah.